drill team, the National Honor Society. He is the president of the Interact Club, and he was this year's battalion commander. When he graduates, he is going to attend Korea University. It is the great pleasure to introduce the Marine Military Academy's 2013 salutatorian, <coughs> Cadet Lieutenant Colonel Yit Yuk Swap.
Uh, good morning. Thank you all for being here today. It's, uh, it's a very special day for all of us down here in front, and it means a lot to everybody that got to be here. Uh, I have a couple of thank yous uh, I'd like to get out of the way first. First and foremost, I thank God, because without his blessings, I would not be here today. Uh, I definitely wouldn't be on the stage. I wouldn't be at the school. Uh, I thank my mom for her continual sacrifice, all the effort she put in to making sure I got the best education, I got the best opportunities. I thank the rest of my family for their support, all my friends down here in the front. I'd like to thank the faculty and staff members, my drill instructor, Chief Warren Officer Bree Edward Harris, uh, my assistant drill instructor, Master Arthur Blood, uh, for their leadership guidance, their support, their being like, you know, fathering me while I'm down here and making sure that, you know, I got my head out of my butt and make sure I got my act together. So I thank God for that. Uh, before I begin, a couple of quick shout outs to. Some of my friends, Nathan Meddy, Tyler Will, Sergeant the Canadian, Kenneth Amadi, Edgar Tadeo, Jordan Perez, John Hay, Quentin Bernos, Connor Burley, Robertson, Durbin Chung, and Michael Wong. Without you guys, this place would have not been so bare. If you had been four years ago and asked me where I plan on graduating from, my answer definitely would not have been the military again. However, if you had asked my mother, she would have told you the complete opposite. She knew from the start, she just wanted to tell me. It took me almost two years to clue the fact that I would one day be graduating from here. Up until that point, I made it just about I made it clear to just about everybody that I was unhappy about being here. As a result of the attitude that I harbored over the years, I came off as a negative person unwilling to cooperate with people. I was focused on myself and I didn't see how other people were affected by my actions. People didn't want to work with me, and those who kept trying were continually shut down by my efforts. Like I said, it took about a year and a half to come to terms with the fact that I would one day be graduating from here. But when I did, it changed my outlook not only on life, but not only on the school, but on life completely. Before I came here, I was all about reward and not about work. Since then, I've become just the opposite. While at MMA, I've really challenged myself to do more and more. Get better grades, get in better shape, become a better team player and leader, and so on. MMA has taught me that I'm not always going to be happy in my situation, but I have the opportunity to make the most of it. Somebody could spend five years here and come out just the same way they were before. MMA doesn't simply make somebody successful. What MMA does, what it did for me, was give one the opportunity to reach that potential. Because we're all born with the, with the possibility of greatness. You know? Regardless of what kind of person somebody is when they come here, they have the option to start anew. That's what makes MMA such a unique school. You get to choose what kind of person you're going to be when you get here and how that's going to shape you after you leave. Today isn't the end of hard work, but merely the beginning. In life, people aren't, always going to, people aren't always going to be there to help us out. If we stop for one second, they're going to pass us by and take our spot. The pursuit of success is a relentless and lifelong challenge. After my time here, I believe that I can take on that challenge because I've already overcome one of the biggest obstacles holding me back, which was myself. To the class of 2013, I wish you the best of luck in life. Look back on these days here and laugh. The camaraderie between us will outlast most others because of the bond we built during our time and experiences here. Remember who you are and don't forget who you came from. Thank you.
it's made me realize that the skills and the disciplines that MMA instilled in me, MMA in the Marine Corps way set the standard for me. The attitude and the character built into me at this school has played a vital role throughout my entire life. The manners, the leadership, the choices I've made because of those lessons learned here have helped me follow a successful path. Now, I'm not talking about a monetary success. Monetary success is merely a byproduct of hard work, good choices, having a great team behind me, and I like to say a little bit of luck. In today's society, common sense, adaptability, leadership qualities, manners, and the ability to communicate with others are traits and self-disciplines that are becoming more and more scarce every day. These are the skills that have been instilled, or should I say, gentlemen, drilled into you. These skills are what will set you apart from the rest. As Mr. Boat said earlier, you know, some of you got here probably didn't have the warmest, fuzziest feeling about MMA. Remember when you first started, when you first came here, it was dropped off? You were scared, maybe a little confused, maybe a little anxiety, and I heard some anger. I remember all those feelings. You were told to kiss your mom and shake your dad's hand. And that was it. It was adios. You were on your own. And there, well, it's about to happen again, gentlemen. It's called growing up, or as I say, moving on to the next level. This time, after you say goodbye to your parents for the second time, most of you won't be going to go meet Joe Haney. <laughs> now, for those of you who don't know Joe, he's the barber that's been here for 25 plus years. Mr. Handy has one of the most integral jobs here at MMA. For he gives all of us our first big dose of humility. <laughs> Nothing puts you in your place like a brand new shiny bald head. <laughs> Mr. Handy was handy number one on my list. I but you know, you all had to move on, and you had to make do with the situation at hand. This is what we all did at our entry point into MMA. It was your time for a fresh start. We all came from different backgrounds, different places, but at that moment, when we first came here, at that moment, we were all heading down the same path as one. Getting tossed into this environment was sometimes a little scary, but you all adapted. And your diplomas today proved that. The ability to adapt to any situation will be of great value in your life. The only thing constant is change. I want to repeat that. The only thing constant is change. It never stops. And in a world of increasing complexity and change, leadership is a quality which is absolutely central to our ability to thrive and prosper. At MMA, you've learned the basic elements of leadership. You've learned that you must give respect to get respect. You've learned about the chain of command. You've learned how to move up in rank. And you've learned that promotions require confidence and skill. It's the same in life, gentlemen. It's the same in life. The best definition of leadership that I can find is the ability to find a noble purpose for a group and then to give meaning to each individual's efforts. The skills of leadership have 
been a part of your daily life here in MMA, from calling formation together to, to leading them down the town the street, to leading them for passing review, working as a team, as a unit, to win the color company flag. Do you see all the components that I'm talking about? Our words reveal our thoughts. Our manners mirror our self-esteem. Our actions reflect our character. And our habits will predict our future. Now manners may be defined as the socially correct way of behavior. That definition contradicts what you see here every day on the news. It seems to not be socially correct to show each other respect. Look at road rage, cyberbullying, hiding behind cell phones and laptops in order to harm somebody. All of that is becoming the norm these days. Good manners flex your self-confidence. Good manners will allow you to respectfully move through every level of society. At MMA, good manners have been instilled in you. You need to continue to use them. And don't ever forget them. I see men and women all day who find it difficult, if not impossible, communicate effectively. It may sound funny, but, but the ability to talk to someone face to face, to be engaged in a conversation, and to speak with respect and clarity seems to be rapidly disappearing every day. And yet, those qualities are in high demand in every workforce throughout the world. The ability to effectively communicate is the number one trait that someone looks for when you're hired. Here at MMA, you've been trained in the essentials of effective communication. You've also had only a limited amount of use on cell phones and texts. So I would say currently you're not totally consumed by these products in your lives but you're about to start using them. So I would say, temper how you use those machines. Since you've been here, you've been giving orders, taking orders, executing orders, since the first day you arrived. You say yes sir, no sir, yes ma'am, no ma'am, to everybody. That's the way it should continue for you throughout the rest of your life. So I'm telling you, hang on to those traits, those communication skills, because it's something so simple, yet it can take you all so far. I know you're ready to jet out of here, and uh, I think the party is in room 2525, the honeymoon suite, right? <laughs> remember, remember, the choices you make today can and will affect you all for the rest of your life. I'm not saying every choice has to be perfect. You're young, and it's okay. You're going to make mistakes, and you're going to make them a lot. You're going to change your mind at times, and at times you'll be faced with troubles. But just remember the strong moral values that your parents and this school have instilled in each and every one of you. Act like the proud confident men that I see sitting in front of me today. And hold the lessons that you have learned here at MMA and be grateful to those that helped you get here. So much emotion and expectation and confidence has been invested in each and every one of you. So remember class of 2013, as you leave this campus today, as you leave Harlem in Texas, you'll face new choices, 
new challenges, new successes, and setbacks. You don't need to remember me or this speech, but you need to remember who you are now and how you feel today, at this moment, your moment. In the words of my B.I., Master Gunnery Sergeant Ward, it's fine Texas Day, gentlemen, and stay out of jail. <laughs>
Zishan Tao.
Samuel Isaac Hudson.
Kyle David Crowley. Yeah. 
Seven Andrew P. Saxon. Hot and hot. It hurts. It hurts. 